Hey mama, congratulations. You have reached the one month milestone with your precious little one. And this can be a bittersweet milestone. It's sweet because baby is waking up more and more. They're looking around. They're looking at fans and lights. You might even get a little hint of a smile. But at the same time, it can be bitter because this is when fussiness can rear its head. They can just be cranky. They cry more often and they want to be held a lot. So we're going to talk about this in your one month update. Well, here I am with little Miss Faith Valencia. She just got up and nursed, and now she's got the hiccups right on schedule. Pretty much every time she nurses, she gets the hiccups. But she is my best nurser. First of all, she puts down a ton of milk. She drinks both boobs at each, you know, wake period. And she um, she just hasn't had a problem with the latch or anything like that. I think some of it is I'm also more experienced. But if you're still struggling with nursing, no, it's completely normal. Um, with both my other ones, I had to see lactation consultants and it took a good six weeks to kind of get the hang of it. Oh, I know. It took about six weeks to get the hang of it. So it might take you some time. It's going to get better, I promise. So this week we went to our one month checkup with the doctor and baby Faith is doing great. She was born at seven pounds, 10 ounces. She's now nine pounds, five ounces. She grew about an inch, you know, all everything checked out great. So I was super grateful. Um, but something that was really striking to me, it was that the doctor asked a million questions about Faith, but did not ask me once how I was doing as the mom, which I actually think is really sad um, and really a misstep because if mama ain't doing good, the baby's not gonna be doing good, okay? Because we're usually the primary caregivers at this point. So I'm gonna be that person in your life to say, how are you doing, mama? You know, usually right around the one month postpartum time, um, the adrenaline's wearing off, we're feeling fatigued, we're feeling a little stir crazy, and we can just kind of feel like, oh my gosh, this is really hard. Um, so I'm here to say I'm right there with you in the trenches. I'm tired, you can hear it in my voice, and I need to start napping when baby's napping because I have not been doing that. Because let me tell you, when I have a moment of free time, I'm like, woo, what can I do around the house or organize or do some work? And then at night, when baby goes to bed, I wanna be with my husband or be with my other kids. And it's just hard to juggle everything. But we need to really keep it simple at this point and be sure we're getting our really basic needs met, like sleep. So sleep, go to bed earlier, and good nutrition. Um, so I hope you're doing that for yourself and get help, You know, whether it's your partner, a friend, a neighbor, a mama's helper, um, so that you can go for a walk or maybe go run an errand or just feel like you have some life outside of rocking, nursing, burping, um, and just taking care of this baby. Speaking of baby, this is the time where they tend to get fussier, okay? So from right around four weeks to about six weeks. At six weeks, it really peaks, where they're just kind of unhappy sometimes when they're up, you know, fussy, crying, um, and just they don't seem to be easily soothed. And it's just because there's so much growth going on right now. They're changing mentally. They're a lot of times having growth spurts at this time. So just hang in there. There, you know, use a lot of those soothing tools, the rocking, the shushing, the noise machines, the lights, the fans, anything to distract, to stimulate, to just get them off of the fact that they're fussy, if that makes any sense. And this is a great time to baby wear because they love that closeness, they love the movement, and then you can, you know, walk around and get some freedom yourself. If your baby is colic, we have tons of resources on our website about colic babies and how to manage that. It's super challenging. Um, and again, this is when getting support is very important, but no, it will pass. Speaking of soothing babies, look who's back, getting some more mama love here and some nourishment. But I hope you have a great week four. Know that you're not alone. God bless you and your baby. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Hi, I'm Genevieve Holland, AKA Mama Natural. And this is my third baby, Faith. Together, we'll be taking you through baby's first year. So be sure to sign up for your free updates at mamanatural.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much and we'll catch you next week.